When we speak about startups, we often think of new technologies and apps. Undoubtedly, it's neglecting a whole very dynamic economic sector. Young entrepreneurs in agribusiness determined to combine tradition and progress. At a time when Africa is aiming for agro-industrial hubs, we want to meet young Nigerian entrepreneurs who have set up their businesses in a sector that is still buoyant despite the economic difficulties of their country. Take a look. How's this for a perfect way to keep your head above water? Entrepreneur Ayodeju Idowu started an aquaculture farm in Nigeria's Ibadan region. This trained botanist learned his trade here thanks to the Tropical Agriculture Institute's business incubator. Three years ago, the institute put up $50,000 to help Idowu and his associates get started. We make use of um, one abandoned pond, then during our own survey, we realized there's a particular abandoned pond somewhere. And we decided, because of our interest, we decided to take it upon ourselves to redredge, to dress the pond, and then that's how we started the business in 2014. The catfish farm was so successful that Idowu had to employ Ridwan to help him. Ridwan's parents could not afford to pay for his studies. Now the 21-year-old can help his family. I was jobless for more than nine months, sitting back at home, um, doing nothing before I gained this job. And after gaining this job, this job has added va more value to my life because I've been able to send my brother to university, I pay my sister school fees, and also I'm sending myself to Polytechnic of Ibada here. And also, it has also aided me. This, the money I'm getting from this job, I also used to get a motorbike, of which I'm using to transport myself from here to my school. Four in ten young Nigerians are out of work. Since its creation in 2012, the incubator has provided training and mentoring for 500 young agribusiness entrepreneurs from several African countries. 80 came from the Ibadan region alone. The institute is spearheading the rebirth of the sector. When you present, you present their business plan. They present their business plans and know ex exactly when they will start making profits. They understand marketing and how to make the most of opportunities in the agricultural sector. They combine markets and social and industrial factors. We didn't know how to do that before. The young partners at Tofan Food, an agribusiness micro company set up just six months ago, already have six employees. Their flagship product, cassava crisps, marketed under the name Tidbits, have been a victim of their own success. Demand is outstripping cassava supply. The raw materials, it's not easy to get the raw materials, most especially the cassava flour. It's very scarce in Nigeria here. And we are trying to get a more supplier that they will be supplying us the cassava flour. For example, we've not been able to satisfy demand. We produce about 500 dozens of tidbits here on a weekly basis, and we have a market demand of about 2,000. So we, we supply within and outside Ibadan. We supply in Ogun states, in, in, the, in the southern western part of Nigeria. So what we are planning, what we are actually doing to solve that problem is actually to, to set up a business in Ogun states, Nigeria, that can actually satisfy that market and well, the production air to satisfy the environment environs. These young entrepreneurs are already making healthy profits. Turnover at Idovu's aquaculture farm was several thousand dollars after the first six months of production, and the young company leader has set his sights even higher. Our plan for the future is uh, to have um, another uh, a replicate of what we have, what we currently have now, in another location a bit far from here. We want to situate our um, business in the geopolitical zones of this country so that we can invest all the money in the country. We are thinking of you know, making it big, you know, being an international company, making sure our product gets to all the supermarkets in Nigeria first before we can think about exporting to African countries and maybe the world at large. 
The young entrepreneurs here at the African Development Bank Organize Agripreneurs Forum share a common goal of feeding Africa, first and foremost. They also intend to play an active role in the thriving sector seeking greater added value by processing African agricultural produce. This growing awareness of opportunities to be seized will depend, to a great extent, on providing adequate training and mentoring for the continent's future captains of industry.